say that good driving involves attitude, awareness, and ability. Today I'm going to talk about attitude. Now if you're driving along and somebody lets you into traffic, I hope you acknowledge that by giving him a jaunty wave or somehow acknowledging the fact that he's done you a good turn. It's rare enough these days you get a chance to do somebody else a good turn, so maybe you should do the same thing. You see somebody struggling to get into the lane of traffic? Let them come in. What's it going to cost you? A car length? No big deal. It's hard enough in this world because driving is so frustrating. Lighten the mood a little bit. Now my favorite moment in this vein came when I was driving an orange Chevy Avalanche. Yeah, that big, huge SUV pickup truck. It's pretty hard to be less conspicuous than you're driving an orange 6,000 pound truck. Well, this guy was driving along beside me. I could see he started to cut in right in front of me. Didn't see this vehicle. The last moment he noticed, whoa, there's that truck. He pulled back in his lane. And then the highlight, he whacked himself up the side of the head. In other words, he did to himself what he figured I'd probably want to do to him. Well, I laughed, I slowed down, flicked my high beams, and he pulled in, and he gave me the jaunty wave. Now, in some vehicles today, the windows are so dark, tinted, it, nobody could see the jaunty wave. Well, some places, in Europe, for example, they'll often give you a couple of flashes on the four-way signals if it, you've done something nice to somebody. The truckers, if you let them in front of you, they'll often flick their rear light or again, give a turn signal flick or a four-way flash. So here's your opportunity to do something nice. Yes, you should be a more able driver. You should be more aware, but you can improve your awareness just by thinking about a little bit. And who doesn't want to be thought of as a better driver? I'm Jim Kenzie.